animation parameters. When animating in Jitter, every element has parameters. Some elements have specific parameters like text or shapes, or some animation types have specific parameters, but every single element has two basic parameters, which are duration and easing. Let's start with duration. The duration of an animation is the duration of an animation. Now how do you change this? You either go into the right panel and enter a value with your keyboard or you can use your mouse to go to the left or the right of an animation in your timeline and then with the two-sided arrow manipulate the duration. Next is easing. Easing is a bit more complicated but not really. There are six types of easing or seven if we count no easing as a type of easing and let's go through all of them. No easing means that there is not a specific speed curve applied, so the animation is evenly distributed over the duration that we apply to it. Natural easing is an easing type that we created and it is a ease in, ease out combined in one easing type making it seem natural. Slowdown is an easing type where the animation starts fairly fast and slows down towards the end of the animation. And the opposite is Accelerate, where the animation starts super slow and accelerates towards the end. Elastic and Bounce are two similar animations, but Elastic is basically the Bounce animation, but faster. So let's start with Bounce. If we have Bounce, we have just a natural animation, but at the end you get a Bounce effect. With Elastic animation, you have the Bounce effect in the beginning, and then it fades out towards the end. Last up we have back, where the animation is exaggerated and then recompensated by bringing it back. So with a scale animation we see that it grows too big and then comes back to its end value. In the next couple of videos we will cover specific animation parameters for text and every shape. If you have any more questions put it in the comments and we will respond as soon as possible.